Hello, and welcome to My Operator Guide for Zofia. This is one of a series of short videos that will help you get the most out of each operator in Rainbow Six Siege. Zofia is a two-armor, two-speed attacking operator from the Polish Grom CTU. She is the older sister of Ella, Grom's defending operator, and was introduced in Operation White Noise with Dokabi, Vigil, and the Tower Map. Zofia's unique gadget is the KS-79 Lifeline, a multifunction grenade launcher that can fire up to two impact grenades and two stun grenades. The impact grenades work very similarly to the secondary gadget available to defenders, and will open up a circular hole in breachable surfaces. Her stun grenades have the same disorientation and slowing effect as Ella's Grismont mines, causing defenders to have their movement slowed and their vision impaired for a few seconds. The two grenade types can be swapped by pressing the fire mode key, and the lifeline can launch two grenades of the same type in rapid succession without needing to reload. The impact grenades will of course detonate on impact, but the stun grenades have a proximity fuse, which will detonate when they are close to a defender. If there is no defender nearby, they will detonate on a timed fuse after a few seconds. The stun grenades have no impact fuse and can be bounced around corners using the environment. It is important to remember that Zofia's grenades do have a slight trajectory and will not travel in a perfectly straight line like Ash's breaching rounds. In addition to her gadget, Zofia also has a secondary ability called Withstand. This allows her to get herself up from being injured instead of waiting for a teammate to revive her. However, if she chooses to use Withstand, she will only be left with 5 HP instead of the usual 50, so it is only worth using if there are no allies nearby. Withstand also takes approximately 5 seconds, which is longer than a normal revive. One other benefit to Zofia is that she can automatically slow her bleeding when injured, even while moving, allowing her to move out of harm's way without her bleed-out timer speeding up. On the screen now is how I personally run Zofia. I use the M762 Assault Rifle as her primary weapon. It is a hard-hitting rifle that has every attachment available to it, but has rather aggressive recoil. I equip it with an ACOG sight, a vertical foregrip, and a flash hider for recoil management. Given the rifle's high recoil, you may want to opt for a holographic or reflex sight for close quarters combat if you don't favour long-range engagements. Sophia has access to another very strong primary weapon in the form of the LMGE, a compact light machine gun with a 150 round box magazine. Although it has slightly lower damage and fire rate than the assault rifle, the massive capacity can allow Zofia to put down some serious firepower and to go practically an entire round without reloading. Like her sister, Zofia only has access to one sidearm, the RG-15 pistol. This sidearm does decent but not exceptional damage. However, this pistol has a 15 round magazine and comes equipped with an integrated red dot sight that cannot be removed. At the time of recording, Ella and Clash are the only other operators to have sights on their pistols, so this is fairly unique and does increase the precision of the weapon. As with all pistols, make sure to equip it with a muzzle brake as there is simply no reason not to. For secondary gadgets, Sophia has access to a claymore and bizarrely, breaching charges. For hopefully obvious reasons, I always take the claymore as it is a great way of covering your back against roamers and runouts. Since Sophia has a gadget that can breach by itself, there is almost no need to take breaching charges. However, on certain maps where vertical gameplay is possible, breaching charges could help her to open up more destructible floor to allow for more sight lines, so bear this in mind. Sophia is, first and foremost, a soft breacher with exceptionally high utility, and when used effectively, can provide a huge benefit for the attacking team. While her gadget can be easily compared to Ash's grenade launcher, there are some key differences that set Sophia apart. As mentioned earlier, Sophia's grenades do not travel in a straight line, so care must be taken when aiming over low walls and obstacles. Sophia's impact grenades are also far quieter than Ash's breaching rounds or normal breaching charges, making more of a pop noise than a thunderous explosion. This can allow Sophia to breach a wall almost unnoticed while defenders have their attention focused elsewhere. To get the most out of Sophia's gadget, droning is absolutely essential. When you are attacking a Zofia, make sure to save your drone from the prep phase so that you have two drones available to you when pushing the objective. With drones, you can plan out your movements and your gadget usage in advance. For example, you may see a breachable wall that the defenders have neglected to reinforce, but there may be a corridor full of barbed wire nearby that needs dealing with. Think about how you and your team can approach the objective and plan to use Zofia's grenades accordingly. 
As for her stun grenades, they are most effective after droning out an anchoring defender. When you know roughly where an enemy is located, you can fire off a stun grenade and wait for the proximity fuse to detonate before pushing them and securing an easy kill. This applies to hunting roamers as well, but be aware that they are less likely to be backed into a corner and can take steps to flank you as you ready your grenade launcher. Something worth mentioning concerning Zephyr's grenade launcher is that swapping between grenade types takes slightly longer than you might expect. The lifeline begins every round with impact grenades selected, so if you wish to use stun grenades first, you will need to change fire mode. However, the animation for doing so lasts a fraction longer than it seems. If you wish to swap grenade types, make sure you pause very briefly afterwards to ensure that the animation has completed before swapping back to your primary weapon. On a number of occasions, I have briefly swapped to the lifeline to switch it to stuns before switching back to my primary weapon, only to later discover that the lifeline was still firing impact grenades. Finally, Zophia is a capable vertical breacher, as her impact grenades can be used to open up soft walls and ceilings quickly and over a relatively large area. While she can be used for this purpose, her gadget is far more useful elsewhere, especially if your team has a buck, sledge, or jackal. Zophia's versatility means that she can be played as a support operator to clear traps and obstructions for her teammates, and as a breacher that can stun enemies and clear rooms. In effect, this allows her to combine well with all operators, so it is difficult to single out any individuals that benefit from Zophia's utility more than others. If I had to pick one, it would be Blitz, as Zophia can stun a room before Blitz charges in, making it far harder for defenders to shoot his legs before he closes the gap to finish them off. Zophia's main counter is Jaeger, whose gadget can completely negate the effect of her grenades. Zophia used to have four stun grenades, but this was reduced to two as she could easily burn through all three of Jaeger's ADS devices, freeing up other operators to throw other grenades into the objective. Now, Jaeger is a much more viable hard counter to Zophia's gadget. Naturally, the other operator that can counter Zophia is her sister, Ella. Both Zophia and Ella are resistant to each other's gadgets, and can recover from the stun effect in half the time of a normal operator. This is a very soft counter, and doesn't impact gameplay terribly often, but it's a nice detail that's worth knowing. Zophia is an extremely versatile attacker with strong utility and a solid loadout. She is also one of the toughest operators in the game thanks to her withstand ability. Using her well can result in some very satisfying plays, and she is always a good pick, no matter the mode or objective. That concludes my Zophia Operator Guide. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you have picked up some tips on how to use her more effectively. If you'd like to see more Operator Guides and Siege content, consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much for watching, and have fun using this stunning Operator.